Leon Gonzalez and his father will call Washington home for a few more days while the Miami family weighs more legal action to keep the boy out of Cuba. The parents of the Florida boy accused of killing his teachers say the shooting was an accident. We will talk with them about their son's side of the story. And just days after his 97th birthday, Bob Hope undergoes emergency medical treatment. It's early this Friday morning, the 2nd of June, 2000. From Fifth Avenue, in the heart of New York City, it's Bryant Gumbel and Jane Clayson. This is The Early Show on CBS. Good morning and welcome to The Early Show on this Friday morning. Yes. TGIF. TGIF. I'm Julie Chen. And I'm Russ Mitchell. Brian and Jane are off today. Happy Friday to you. You've got that Friday glow. Thing I know. On. Although, no, it's the humidity here in New York City, actually, that brings out the flushness. I see. We've got a packed show coming up a today. A packed show. This morning, we're going to blow the lid, I'm telling you, off a secret that has bugged Washington, D.C. for decades. We'll reveal the real identity of Washington Post food critic Phyllis Richmond. And if that is not enough excitement for you, we'll preview Martin Lawrence's new movie, give you a big head start on a special meal for Father's Day, and wrap it all up with a rousing performance from Martha and the Vandellas, the group that, of course, gave us Heat Wave and Dancing in the Streets. But first is Julie. Thanks a lot, Russ. In what could turn out to be the deciding blow in the Elian Gonzalez case, a federal appeals court in Atlanta has upheld a lower court ruling that found the boy is not entitled to a political asylum hearing. But the six-year-old must still remain in this country while his Miami relatives exhaust their legal options. Byron Pitts is outside the Washington home where Elian and his father are staying. Byron, good morning. Good morning, Julie. Elian Gonzalez and his father are one day closer to heading back to Cuba. The Miami relatives have two weeks to appeal. If that fails, Juan Miguel Gonzalez says he will take his boy back home. Yo lo quiero mucho. I love him a lot, Juan Miguel Gonzalez said of his son after the court decision.